bagpipes. Who doesn't love the sound of bagpipes? Well, I, I don't actually. Um, I'm at the corner of Bloor and Avenue Road in Toronto. And just one more thing I wanted to show people. That's a better view of the CN Tower. Uh, can you see that? Right there. Um, I brought you here to show you the new addition to the Royal Ontario M Museum, um, which is right here. And this is this is what I wanted to show you. Okay, there it is. Now that's called the Li Chin Crystal, designed by David Liebeskin. Now, why is it called the crystal? Do you ask? When it's 75% aluminum? Well. The original design that Liebeskin submitted to the proposal committee made it all out of glass, and it was very, very striking, very nice uh, looking. And he won the proposal, and then he said, oh, sorry, my engineering team discovered that it couldn't hold up to a Canadian winter. So uh, out went the glass, and in came the aluminum. So it was kind of a bait and switch as far as I'm concerned. I don't know if I like it. I'm, not, I'm really, really not a big fan of Liebeskin. Uh, I don't think he's uh, particularly talented. This was way, way over budget. It was in the hundreds of millions of dollars, way behind schedule. And uh, I don't know, it, Torontonians are quite divided about it. People tend to either love it or hate it. I am kind of in between. I don't know. It's, it's kind of an interesting contrast to the old Royal Ontario Museum building. Um, why don't we get a closer look? Okay, cross the street. I've got Tim in tow behind me. I'm actually going there now. There's two exhibitions I want to see. One on a Peruvian civilization. Not the, not the uh, Inca, but something else. And Japanese Yukioe woodblock prints. So I've been to Peru and Japan, so that's kind of nice. So there it is. What do you guys think? I'll put some links on the side to give you more information, because I'm probably getting a few facts wrong. Um, again, Liebeskin just... he doesn't do it for me. And he's, he's designing the new Freedom Tower at the World Trade Center site, which I think is also another terrible building. 1,776 feet tall. Yeah, there's a fucking cliché. But, uh, anyway, um, that's a look. I can't film inside, unfortunately. One interesting thing is there's no right angles to this. And when it was going up, watching the girders be put into place, I really have to admire the engineering feat behind this structure. So uh, I'll, I'll give them that. Um, yeah, other architects. Gary, I'm not a big fan of. He's doing the new multi-hundred million dollar addition to the Art Gallery of Ontario. It just seems like it's either Liebeskind or Gary, Liebeskind or Gary. Uh, you know, there's got to be other architects in the world. Like Calatrava, I think, a Spanish architect who I think is wonderful. That's about it. Here goes a sightseeing bus. Just before I forget, um, a quick thank you to uh, James in um, Canterbury, England. He, he subscribed to my videos, which was quite a surprise, because I don't expect anyone to subscribe. Um, I was James' first subscriber, so he's now returning the favor. Thank you, James. And uh, I invite everyone to come to Toronto and uh, see our interesting buildings. And uh, bye for now.